Hello, Arson here, and today I will be showing you my weapons shop in Sanctuary so and also nice. the brilliant Fallout 4's drop and drag system to create beautiful weapon racks like the one that you see on display. Now, there is no easy way of doing it, and it is going to be painful, but I'll quickly show you how to do it. At the moment, I am in Sanctuary. We're pretty much down by the base, uh, the entry, there's a bridge over there, and across the road I have my prison that I built on an earlier video, so please check it out if you want to. Um, I really probably shouldn't have a weapon shop across the road from a prison, but it's just the way it worked out. So, in the front I have some American flag curtains in the window, you can do this by placing the curtain over the window, you can also do uh, paintings, which completely block the window out for some privacy. Over here I have like a netting or a cage to stop potential people from stealing the weapons and just taking off with them. This is done by placing a floor on the ground, uh, what do you call it, wire fence on top of it, removing the floor, the wire fence will float and then placing some counters underneath it. It, uh, it does take a while to try and get used to it but once you're used to it you are away. Now this is what you've all come to see is the weapon rack that I have built. I've shown um, a lot of people on Facebook and it is, uh, yeah, it can be tiresome to do. I have someone, uh, another one over here and basically it just uses the basic drop and drag system and some careful placing. Now I'm going to quickly show you how to do this but I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to do it but I'll show you how fast I can do it because I've had a lot of practice. So I'm just going to grab these weapons at the top here as that. Go into my inventory, go to weapons and drop them on the ground. One, two, three. There they are. Hold A or X on your weapon and it will grab it. Simple as that. And then whip them around, slowly place them down and then press A to let go or X to let go. Do your next one. I give it quite fast whips because it moves it to where you want to be. And then I will try and flip it. I hate when it goes upside down though. And I'll press it like a, a back against it if I can and maneuver it so it ends up nice and straight. And then I'll slowly come down. You can start from any, any side and then place it there. One more to go. Oh, sometimes you, you don't grab it. Oh, yep, there we go. Need to get back to Diamond Give it a City quick whip across, days. flip it up, Biggest and smash it gone. against the wall or the shelf, and place it nicely. Now, this shelf can be found inside your sanctuary building. Uh, where are we? We go to structures. No, furniture. Uh, shelves. And it's that one right there. Nope. That one, one side. And you get the two sided one. And you just place it where you want, and then just do exactly what I just did then. It doesn't take too long, and once you master it, bang, you are away. So, thank you for watching my video. Hey, like, look, guys, if you like it, please like, please share, subscribe. Um, I'm just more than happy to do more videos. I've got a nice, thriving sanctuary up there. I'll show you some more videos of my clinic, my general trader, at some point. But I just really wanted to show you the my weapon shot and the uh, rack system with drop and drag and how easy it can be. So thanks for watching guys. See you next time in the sanctuary of Fallout. Yo.